Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Recap Tarot. My name is Rhea and we are back with our predictions for the upcoming 10 days. And of course, as usual, I hope you guys have had a fabulous past 10 days. And if you've done something fun, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now we're going to be heading into the next 10 days, okay? So of course, I pray that they are beautiful for you. But when it comes to making your choice, you have three beautiful piles here. You can choose a According to the images or you can use the feathers depending on what you find great or if you're one of those who you know always make your choice based on the plates there you go you have it there yeah I'll give you some time when it comes to making your choice then we start with pile one Hello and if you selected pile 1, this is what you can expect for yourself for the upcoming 10 days. Let's take a look at what it is that is coming your way. And as always, we start with our monology. So basically for you pile 1, anything you do, you have to do it with confidence. Whether this is you know, applying for a promotion, whether this is appearing for an examination or when it comes to your daily life. Your confidence in yourself, your belief in yourself is what is going to shape your upcoming 10 days is what is coming through okay so be confident you know be like the lion you know the king of the jungle that kind of vibe is something that you have to project when it comes to the outside world of course we have a lot more details but we'll take up your tarot you have knight of cups you have ace of wands you have four of swords and you have nine of cups that is simply beautiful all right first of all let me tell you this your you know mind is going to be supremely active okay you're going to be having a lot of things to think about there are a lot of decisions i feel like that are coming your way but you're going to be like a champ and you're going to be making them as and when you feel right for yourself okay but along with that i get a feeling like some wish that you've been holding very dear when it comes to your heart is going to be coming true or this week is just going to be one of contentment you're happy wherever you're placed you're happy though with the way the things are progressing i don't you don't really feel like you know anything is out of place which in itself is the greatest amount of blessings because if you find peace within yourself if you find the sense of okay my life is good what else do you need okay but once again i feel like some kind of proposal is coming your way or maybe somebody has some kind of you know thing to ask you this can be actually in the romantic sense or somebody is making you a business offer okay one of these two things but remember this if you look into you know whatever this is this romantic proposal or this business proposal it may benefit you when it comes to the long run okay once again spending time with friends spending time with family is there for you you know travel may be on the cards for you i don't really see this as long-term travel couple of trips out here you know maybe just to get out of the house you know a grocery run but that trip is definitely there but i feel like you're taking more time for yourself okay maybe you just want to recuperate you want to rest a little bit more but you know the focus is very much on yourself and your own energies the sense I get here is I'm going to do as much as I can and you know when I feel like okay I don't want to do this I'm not going to be doing it okay so you're really playing according to your own energies which is beautiful once again healing is coming through beautifully for you but i get a feeling like you know maybe your mind is going to be slightly restless so please make sure when it comes to your mind you're relaxing you're just zoning out or meditation or just that one trip to the spa or salon you do that because you know it'll help you relax i get a feeling like more than anything you have this need to relax and unwind which i feel like in a way you're going to be organically doing this week now interestingly there is a lot that you have to be grateful for okay so once again with the nine of cups this may be in the form of you know i've always been wanting this and now this is happening so a wish fulfillment is there but something that is making you feel like oh i'm so grateful for my life and then you're going to be saying your thankfulness prayers which i think is beautiful and in a way you know you should say this every day so that you have more to be grateful for yeah but i feel like something is happening that is putting you in this gratefulness vibe now 
the focus for you this week is on self love okay so maybe you're falling more in love with yourself or you're finally getting this chance to connect deeply with your own self which is making you fall in love with yourself okay but remember self love can also be like taking care of yourself giving yourself what you need if this is sincere praise then it can be sincere praise if this is just you know making sure that you're taking care of your parents it is that or just giving yourself whatever you need being your own best friend in a sense but self love is what is building up for you this week now interestingly for you what may happen you know your responsibilities may increase or you feel like you know you're preparing for something this can make be an examination or at work you have tremendous responsibilities or maybe you know your home life needs your attention your work life needs your attention but you're strong you're infinitely strong because of which no matter what burdens are placed on you you are like a champ and you make sure you take care of everything beautifully but you're strong you're capable and you're standing your ground no matter what is what is coming through one thing as always you have to take care of pile one and that is discipline having like a schedule around your life you know waking up at a particular time eating sleeping at a particular time and making sure that you're not ignoring your responsibilities so you know essentially for you pile one what i'm noticing you know discipline and prioritizing are sort of a theme that i've been building up for the past couple of weeks so maybe that is something you have to become into as an individual so you have to become more assertive you have to control your life in such a way that everything has a place everything has a time and nothing really is out of place when it comes to life so discipline perseverance and having a routine is what is once again highlighted for you for the next 10 days and once again i'm going to be shuffling a couple of more things for you okay dive you don't find pearls on the seashore so once again the message that the universe is giving you is dive if something is calling you you know if you have a new dream in your heart remember this dive at it go at it because you know you're not going to be finding pearls on the seashore pearls are only found deep within the sea okay so if you want to your life to be beautiful if you want your life to be blessed remember don't be on the seashore so this depends on everything if you want a beautiful career dive if you want a greater amount of spiritual progress go in and do the hard work okay but you cannot play on the surface and then be like i want to be the best it doesn't work that way a great life needs risk and that risk is something that you should be taking but remember this you supremely strong and no matter what in your life you know you emerge a winner and that is a quality that really stands above you and above everybody else pile one so remember be calm be steady whatever you're doing make sure you're sure footed when it comes to it it is your own strength that defines who you are and once again just like the lion the lion has the greatest amount of strength and that strength will come into you this week is what is coming forth direction trust your inner compass remember i mentioned there may be a couple of decisions that you want to take and when it comes to taking these decisions you have to trust your inner compass and what your inner voice is telling you your inner voice will not lead you astray stillness in calm waters everything becomes clear so maybe when it comes to certain decision making once again trust your inner compass trust your inner voice but maybe that inner voice will come through more beautifully if you still yourself when you make sure that your mind is not restless okay so once again calming down just sitting and relaxing is important not only for your health but also for knowing what to do next when it comes to your life okay so in stillness everything will become clear a journey once again travel may be on the cards for you but remember this in your life it is the journey that needs to be honored and not the destination at which you're supposed to be arriving see regardless of whatever you're doing in your life you are going to be arriving at a destination is right for you but if you don't enjoy the journey then it's pointless okay enjoy everything that you're doing i'm going to be giving you your tea leaf cards to see what next okay 
this week a dealing or relationship with a man is going to be very important and this man has dark complexion or hair or this could be a family member or this could be somebody at work or sometimes a complete stranger but this man is going to be having an important place to play when it comes to your life uh, once again money is coming your way this may be you know money that comes all of a sudden or this could be something that you worked hard for in the past and that is coming your way but money or property once again so maybe you want to buy a property or you want to you know shift your house maybe either way but this is coming in your direction but trust your inner compass when it comes to that oh you have the card of the sun so happiness and well-being is coming into your life and remember you already had the card which told you that you have a lot to be grateful for you also had the nine of cups and along with the sun so i see this week going beautifully for you okay with you know the exceptions of maybe wanting to make a couple of decisions and a little bit of restlessness in mind other than that it's a blessed week for you okay you have two men who are going to be important this week okay one is like a fair man this person has like you know a blonde gray or white hair so i see this as an older man with a little bit of fair complexion but this man is important and in need of help assistance or guidance so this week anytime you feel like you need somebody's help you need somebody's guidance or assistance that hand is going to be coming in your direction so don't feel like you have to do things alone you're never alone you have help tremendously things will not always be this way a change is coming so you know once again i find the theme when it comes to you pile one you know it's like change is coming in a way it's like slowly but surely you're turning into a butterfly and see how many butterflies there are out here i love when things work this way it's like look at this so this is the week the next 10 days you're really emerging from a caterpillar from your cocoon into a butterfly so you're really strongly coming into world and putting your best foot forward is what is coming through oh three men okay so interestingly this week your life is going to be defined by men okay we'll see what papa has to give you when it comes to your spiritual life so let's see what papa has to say equality when it comes to your spiritual life you know please make sure you're treating people equally you're giving people respect regardless of their attitude remember you are in charge of your own karma it's an important message a miracle once again look out for miracles when it comes to your life once again maybe you have a lot to be grateful for so when you witness these miracles just be grateful you'll have more to have in your life and do not doubt so when it comes to anything you know sometimes what happens is one little thing go wrong wrong and we are like you know oh you know baba is not with me or any ascended master that you believe in is not with me it is your faith that moves everything it's not anything external okay so don't doubt baba's power is always with you ego all right now once again you may have opportunities to be egoistic but that is a test coming your way so this week or next 10 days any time you feel like you know you're going into a zone of ego i am the best i am you know supremely great you know greatest person on planet earth that's not good self love is different ego is different there's a very very fine line when it comes to that okay don't jump the fence that's the only thing that is something baba is telling you so next 10 days pay attention to your ego surrender once again baba is telling you when it comes to your spiritual life surrender is the way forward surrender let your master let your guru do his job the old has to die for the new to emerge so this is like putting an end to the old self so egoistic self you know the lower self make sure you release that you surrender that so that you can emerge into a winner and a beautiful soul when it comes to your spiritual life but this has to be an end and a new beginning mother earth your job is simple when it comes to your spiritual life take care of mother earth take care of planet take care of animals and birds you're good and surrender yeah easiest path easiest path you guys are blessed because in your spiritual path if your path is that simple then reaching the divinity becomes simple very very simple and 
balance uh, once again balance is important when it comes to your spiritual life and material life so remember your job is not to become a spiritual yogi or your job is not to become like completely devoted to your spiritual life your practical life is important money is important relationships are important so maintain that balance don't go completely towards the divine because there is a lot you need to do for mother earth and mother earth is completely the physical plane balance is important and love your true self self love once again so that is what baba is highlighting to you as well see if you're the kind of person when you look at yourself you only see flaws then you have to look at yourself through the eyes of the divine who clearly sees the blessed parts of you simple simple truth yeah i'll leave you here when it comes to you know your upcoming days and i'll see you in my next video bye Hello and if you've selected pile 2 these are the messages that you need to receive for the upcoming 10 days let's take a look and most importantly as always we start with your moonology remember next 10 days you should never allow negativity to be a part of your mind or your consciousness in fact you have to consciously make an effort to release it so what may happen is you may find occasions to be you know negative or to think negatively and remember if that happens it is somehow an external influence i feel like so please make sure you don't let negativity come into you see remember you know they always say nothing can sink a ship unless water enters it so don't let the water of negativity enter you be positive remember happy thoughts positive thoughts and positive affirmations you need to repeat for the next 10 days to retain that positivity and to release all negativity from your mindset yeah of course i'll give you your tarot ace of swords eight of wands three of wands eight of cups okay so once again a week of change is what is highlighted for you and these changes are happening very very quickly okay uh, one thing let me tell you the possibility that you're going to be more emotional than usual is there because it's almost like you know you're ending this one phase when it comes to your life you're consciously walking away from something because you may feel like okay i've done my best and that is the only thing that i can do you know but you're clearly giving your best that is something that i'm seeing so even if you walk away from circumstances if you're walking away from something consciously you'd know that you've done everything that you can and you know that's the one thing that you have to remember once again you feel like certain chapters in your life are done and dusted and you're moving on to something new or you're moving on to certain new ideas is also coming through because your mind is all of a sudden filled with lot of ideas you're brimming with lot of things that are making you enthusiastic about your future life and you're really really heading into that direction and remember travel is on the cards for you movement is on the cards for you because i feel like moving forward lot of dimensions are opening up for you lot of positive arenas are opening up for you and in fact you know if i can really say this it's like you're moving towards the next phase of your life beautifully and the start for that is this week then let me tell you it's starting to rain in the background so if you hear little taps it's just on my roof now interestingly you're also going to be questioning a lot of things this week okay why is this happening why am i you know uh, you know going in this direction why should i do this so the why is going to be very very important for you and the answer to that why is also something that you will find for yourself this week but abundance is also coming your way so money wise things are going for you beautifully abundance is coming in money is coming in and money from newer sources may also come in this week so maybe you feel like you know you meet somebody that you can have a really good spiritual connection with and honestly if you find that person nothing will make me happier or maybe you know you are in contact with a community where like-minded spiritual people come together just to connect or pray or whatever form this may be for you or you know this could be a partnership between you and an ascended master too okay because any kind of you know a student and disciple relationship is a spiritual partnership at that but remember 
remember spiritually very very important week and no wonder it's like you're entering the next stage when it comes to your life now look at that this is easily one of my absolute favorite cards so this means that prosperity and abundance are also coming your way for a couple of you this could also be the you know on 10 days that you try and relax a little bit more or you probably go on a small holiday where you can relax in luxury or just in your backyard you know sitting with a cup of tea coffee or whichever is your preferred beverage with your you know animals maybe having a cake and just enjoying your life in general yeah see this is what happens when you release the negativity so this is like a very good before and after forget the world focus on yourself you will be fine you know that's basically the core message when it comes to you guys now of course i'm going to be shuffling for a couple of messages on camera as you guys always seem to like let's see what's more guidance uh, find safety in your beacon slide so remember the possibility that you may need guidance once again you know spiritual partnership that is there of course for a couple of you you know this could be guidance through an ascendant master or maybe you know you meet a friend and they help you out with certain guidance and you know a spiritual partnerships form when it comes to you guys yeah so it's this guidance that is definitely coming your way uh, take the helm be in control of your own ship remember remember the messages not to give up control to somebody else so please make sure you are in control of your own ship and you don't be swayed by what other people have to tell you uh, anchor keep yourself grounded remember especially when people are very busy no then they sort of lose their grounding they lose that you know footage form footage so please in that case please make sure you're grounded and especially if you can then relax outdoors that will be great or just sit at home on the ground preferably see when your root chakra is connected to mother earth you know that is when grounding takes place beautifully which is why you know exercise is always suggested outdoors in a garden because you know your feet are firmly planted on mother earth and then wonders happen so keep yourself grounded that is a message all right a lot of jumpers self care once again self care very very important drowning doesn't always require water so once again remember i told you the possibility that you could be a little bit more emotional than usual is there because you're probably coming out of a phase you're coming out of something so please remember self care is very important and communicate things left unsaid will never reach the shore so if you feel like you want to communicate something to somebody then please make sure you do that because if you're not saying something when you really want to say it then you know you'll probably just keep it inside you and you'll be like you know oh why did i not say this i should have just said this out loud yeah very very important and move a uh, movement is suggested for you so once again if you feel like you want to make certain changes to your life or you want to move out of a job or a place that you currently in move of course because you know a movement is something that i'm seeing a lot so shifting residences if that is something that you're intending for yourself then that's great you know you should do that if you feel like that's the right thing for you and of course eight of cups movement very possibly for you in the next 10 days i'll give you your tea leaf cards persevere and you will overcome problems camel spirit is like your patent spirit pile too it always comes in you know and then i really feel like there is a lot you need to learn from the camel so persevere do not give up and you will overcome any problems that you have in your life a uh, period of prosperity and abundance oh these are two messages coming together so once again money wise things you know may progress for you a lot because you also had abundance here so once again you know when you're moving out of one phase in your life then the next phase promises to be filled with prosperity and abundance uh, seek information that will help you out remember you also had the card of guidance so maybe in certain cases when it comes to your life you don't have information that you need and then when it comes to your spiritual partnership that makes sense as well of course this could be when it comes to your practical life but in your spiritual life maybe you need some extra guidance which may come through you through your spiritual partnership yeah so that's also there a solid foundation success with effort so you have to increase your efforts when it comes to you know anything that you want to achieve and remember this is a tea leaf card and this is not a tarot card so the message is very different a mountain road you are on the road to success so for you the interesting part is pile 2 
the road to success for you probably has never been easy when it comes to your life or maybe for a couple of you there have been a lot of deviations because like a mountain road it is zigzag okay it's not a straight road when it comes to you but even though the road is zigzag the view from the top remains the same even though you may feel like you know your road is difficult it is because god wants you to learn a lot more than his normal individual which is why when you emerge at the top you are going to be like anyone else that you've ever met yeah that's a message you know that i'm really getting here okay uh, older woman may be important so remember your relationships or dealing with an older woman may be important this could be once again a spiritual partnership when it comes to you you never know or this just could be a family member who's very wise but you know this older woman is going to be having an important place a meeting with a stranger could also be important this week okay so maybe a chance meeting with somebody for guidance for support may help you when it comes to your life as well now we'll get into messages from sai and let's see what sai has to tell you with regards to your spiritual life because that is something that is very important meditation okay okay meditation absolutely see let me tell you this as well you know sometimes what happens is when you're meditating your connection with an ascended master becomes open yeah open i'll tell you this if you get deeper into meditation and even though the ascended master that you believe in is no longer living that channel opens up but this is really advanced level of you know meditation like really really consistently you have to practice but then that is a message that is coming in your direction so via meditation if you go really deep into it in the next 10 days that spiritual channel will open and then the guidance that you need will come through you from this channel bhakti yoga when it comes to your life of course bhakti is important sincere love is important for your guru for an ascended master for the divine because love opens channels like anything else and of course through meditation the messages will start pouring in important week spiritually very important week spiritually pay attention trust in the guru fully trust that all the guidance that you need is going to be coming through for you your spiritual partnership then is going to be building with your guru so much that whenever you close your eyes and you meditate that channel opens itself next 10 days if you really do the work the channel will open i can tell you this but of course you have to make the effort without effort nobody has ever gained anything and be joyous okay now baba is telling you in your life be happy be happy regardless of circumstances so even when you're asking yourself why if you can manage to you know just invalidate the bias and just know that in every moment if you can just be joyous knowing that even if it is adversity that comes your way it still comes from your guru to teach you something then you will reach this one level of balance and this one level of being like the camel spirit then that thing will disturb your peace of mind nothing can shake you and that is the level that you're supposed to be reaching when it comes to your spiritual life is what baba is telling you but be happy be very very happy hard work of course when it comes to your life this is your material life that you're talking about and of course meditation as well work diligently and you will be rewarded that's baba telling you <laughs> and reason your mind is restless of course control your mind let your intellect control your mind so this means if your mind is restless possibly the restlessness is because of your emotions this is a consistent message please pay attention so let your mind be in control let logic be in control of your material life very important and when it comes to spiritual life of course love is the guiding force when it comes to you telepathy exactly what i was trying to tell you so the channel may open for you and of course through meditation through your guru that may happen and remember once that channel opens that communication can come through any any forms this can come from another person this can come from you know just about anything and you will receive it but the guidance if you do the hard work this week will open up for you 
spiritual teacher baba gives his devotees what they want in the hope that they will begin to want what baba wants to give them so exactly what i was telling you remember be joyous be even minded because when baba gives you something even if it is an obstacle that obstacle is placed because you learn a lesson from it nobody hates you or nobody wants to make you suffer it is a spiritual lesson and embrace those lessons for yourself to emerge into this wisest being that you're ever going to to reach the top of the mountain those are the messages that are coming in your direction very 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 important next 10 days pay attention to your spiritual life yeah and when it comes to your normal life as well lot of changes you're making beautiful changes and make sure you're giving yourself what you need i leave you here with nothing but my best wishes i'll see you in my next one bye Hello and if you've selected pal 3 these are the messages that are important for you for the next 10 days and we start with our moonology as always now interestingly the next 10 days are a time to give rather than to take so when it comes to your work don't think about what i am getting in return what progress i am making am i hitting my goals just put your heart and soul into whatever you are doing when it comes to relationships put your heart and soul give give with an open heart because when a person gives with an open heart keeping in mind that whatever i'm doing it i'm doing it for god the reception that comes your way the things that you receive comes from the divine as well but remember it is a time to give maximum as much as you can so that when you receive it when your time is there it comes as maximum as it can okay that's the secret of the universe okay lot of things require your attention busy week all right now uh, once again as i told you you're going to be very busy maybe lot of things are going to be needing your attention you're juggling a lot it's like you know you've seen one of those things you know where you know like multiple things are going up in air and a person is like magically like a shape shifter trying to handle everything that is who you are going to be as an individual but remember this the focus is more on logic here you're slightly disconnected from your emotions and that is a good thing for you this week because what happens is when a person is disconnected from their emotions and whether is it is when it comes to your work or whether it is when it comes to relationships you giving maximum without this you know emotional being like okay i'm not getting anything i'm not doing this is like you know your faith of mine is like i am giving i'm giving i'm going to give because this is what i'm supposed to be doing it is my duty i'm going to be giving that is the frame of mind that you're going to be in and that is working beautifully when it comes to you you have certain important decisions coming your way but that too you're taking very logically keeping aside how you feel about it and that is why you are making steady progress when it comes to your life remember travel is on the cards for you movement is on the cards for you and lot of communication is on the cards for you so if you've been waiting for any kind of letter from university or any kind of you know communication please pay attention to it is very very strongly for you holidays if you want to schedule it planning for holidays may also be possible for a couple of you or during the weekends you may go on a short trip now realization of course you may realize a couple of things or you may have one of those aha moments or you may realize that the more you give the more you're getting in the future so that realization also comes your way but it's like you're moving out of a period of darkness is what is coming through when it comes to you you're also taking a risk out here when it comes to your life okay so maybe the decision that you arrive at or a couple of things that you decide for your future may be little risky but you feel like you're adept at taking care of no matter what comes your way you're like that's it i'm not going to play it safe anymore i'm just going to go wild and live my life because that is the essence that i'm getting when it comes to you a financial discipline is important so please make sure when it comes to your money you're maintaining some kind of discipline you're not going overboard when it comes to your spending habits and you're making financial saving a priority when it comes to you so maybe you're going to be taking some important financial investment decisions for yourself this week as well so that may be important for you as well and meditation for clarity once again realization so maybe this week you're going to take some time to just think think logically okay i'm not talking about feeling here 
this is about meditation to get clarity so maybe there are a couple of things that are maybe troubling you right now or you feel like you're not clear about where your stand is or you may feel like i don't really know where i'm going when it comes to your life and that clarity is what is coming in this week and once that clarity comes in you're going to be like okay now i know what i want to do and you know then you're going to be moving according to that is what is coming forth yeah of course i'm going to be shuffling for you on camera to see what messages are coming forth patience once again you need to be a little bit more patient with yourself right so when it comes to patience clarity and thinking requires you to be patient as well so set some time aside when it comes to life or you know when it comes to relationships to be patient with somebody else because that may be important for you perseverance stay the course so once again you may feel like you know because you're giving a lot that you just want to quit that you don't want to give any more but you have to be patient you have to persevere so remember how these two are connected so if you feel that you're getting a little bit more impatient and you're like i'm doing everything why am i not seeing the results the results will come yeah stay the course don't quit that's an important message when it comes to you safety don't be too proud to go back to the show so when it comes to your life if you feel like you've made couple of mistakes don't be afraid to rectify them when it comes to your life okay ego please be a little bit careful of that proud not nice for you right now yeah safe is important dream a uh, follow your yearnings for the deep blue sea once again because you know you're going to be getting a lot of clarity then maybe that clarity will result in you dreaming more vicariously so new dreams the possibility is there perseverance once again you're going to be persevering when it comes to your dream is also there but remember have that dream yeah because that dream for you is going to be you know what is going to make sure that you wake up every day when it comes to your life that is the intensity of your dreams is what i'm seeing here a uh, dance take inspiration from the moonlight and dancing on the surface of the sea so dance you can actually go dancing for a party that may also be there but you know don't play it safe when it comes to your life you know dance with the winds of change and you will emerge as a winner throughout yeah so dance that's important the risk once again is a form of a dance as well yeah don't be afraid and meditate once again meditation for clarity was also there for you so of course meditation can just be thinking with a calm mind with a patience in your heart yeah but meditation make some quiet time that is important you know spend some time away from people that's important and wild once again with dance let caution to the wind and just like this card you know this message is like a personification of this look at this lady you know her hair are like wild she's carefree she's dancing with the wind and that is how you should be when it comes to life don't be afraid you know your time for being afraid is over that's what i'm really getting here yeah you you meant to live a grand life pal 3 don't be you know satisfied with just edges or bread crumbs that no that's not your place in the world that's what i'm getting here uh, when it comes to your tea leaf cards keep your life in balance once again you may be busy at work but of course you need to have a balance in everything so when you feel like you want to rest and take that time off just for clarification or meditation take that time for yourself okay you know get away from work one day early if you can just to sit at home and relax you know that is something that you should do love i see this as a form of an intense amount of love for yourself and a love for life more than anything else yeah a love of life is building up in your heart but of course love is a huge emotion when it comes to you and announcement of course an announcement may come your way of course this can be examination announcement or wedding announcement birth of a child can be in many ways honor and respect will come to you so something is happening that is giving you a lot of respect when it comes to your life and remember for people who give with an open heart for people who give freely honor and respect is just the natural outcome of this so the more you give when it comes to your work of course the more respect will come your way with a certain kind of balance and a nest so once again an emotional loving family is important for you so family relationships are also highlighted your connections with family home is also highlighted so maybe you want to buy a new house for which you're financially planning starting from the next 10 days may also be there but you want this home 
you want a family you want to build it you want to nurture it that is an emotion that is very very strong when it comes to your heart and you're just a very loving person you know you're a loving person you just want love you want family you want goodness in your life yeah and deep personal strength and peace that assures success there's a strength that is building inside you pile three that is unshakable like a mountain there is this peace that is coming your way that is also unshakable like that mountain. It's like you finally get to enjoy the sunrise when it comes to your life. Okay. So I really get a feeling like you're coming out of a period of difficulties. Intense difficulties at that can be a very specific message I know. But you're coming out of that and you're coming strong. Vacation. Uh, planning a vacation is what I'm seeing here or maybe a mini vacation is highlighted as well. A sincere wish will be granted. Okay, needle and thread. So when it comes to your life, maybe patch up when it comes to certain relationships is also what I'm seeing here. And maybe that loving family, that secure family relationships may also come through for you. But a sincere wish will be granted. Uh, let us look into what Baba has to tell you for your spiritual life. Oh, there are two celebrate okay so there may be an ho happy occasion that you're celebrating so celebrate away celebration is beautiful always and duality so once again remember this maybe two paths may call to you or you feel like okay this is right for me but this is also right for me but remember this when it comes to duality it is great up to a particular point but in the end it has to emerge into one yeah so please pay attention to that but two things may call your way or two belief systems may call your way as well patience once again patience is very important especially when it comes to spiritual life so if you feel like you want to hurry when it comes to things you're like why is that spiritual life not opening itself up to you it is happening it is a process if it just opens up in front of you the divine wisdom trust me you will not be able to take it which is why baba tells you patience is very important and just calm down a little bit okay and perseverance when it comes to your spiritual life persevere with patience you'll get what you need and you've already achieved a milestone when it comes to your spiritual life. I see this in your reading. So you have to think about what that milestone has been. Because maybe you've ignored that a little bit. Okay, you've hit a milestone. Just, you know, think about what that has been. Find your light within. So of course, when it comes to your spiritual life, the light starts from within. Of course, you may find that when you go deeper in meditation you know you witness certain lights and if you're witnessing certain lights every color that you see in meditation has a specific significance okay so be a little bit mindful when it comes to that but you're finding that light within when it comes to your life and maybe that is a milestone having that color show up that vibrancy shows up yeah it just means that certain things are being clear in you and certain minute things are opening up to you okay so just think about what that has been and note down what colors you see in meditation they have supreme importance home okay once again we had the card of nest so once again your home should be a place of fresh and positive energy so once again for people who are working from home or you know these days the thing is even though you know offices open up most people have the opportunity of working from home anyway so if that is the thing for you please know that your house is a place of rest and if you're working just dedicate one corner for it and don't work all over the place that's not how it should be because the stress of work then just is a part of every part of your house and that is not good for you and that is not good for your family as well yeah so make one place of work and stick to it very very important compassion have compassion for those who are suffering so this 10 days is important for you to help somebody in need with a kind word even if you say that that is you know more than enough or actually physically helping them out with money or you know things that they may need at that point of time and faith mostly faith is what is going to be moving mountains for you have faith in baba have faith in the master that you believe in because they will help you 
अबव एवरी थिंग एंड अबंडेंस ऑफकोर्स स्पिरिचुअल अबंडेंस इज समथिंग दैट आई एम सींग मैसिवली वेन इट कम्स टू लाइफ एंड अबंडेंस वेन इट कम्स टू मनी द डोर टू दैट इज ओपनिंग अप एज वेल बट ओवरऑल दीज आर द मैसेजेस दैट यू नीड टू रिसीव फॉर द नेक्स्ट टेन डेज एंड एज ऑलवेज एज अ रैप दिस अप आई एम गोइंट बी लिविंग यू विथ नथिंग बट माई बेस्ट विशेज आई सी यू इन माई नेक्स्ट वन बाई